Hello everybody. Uh, in this video we are going to show you how to do the process of photolithography. And we ordered some masks where there's some uh, really high frequency uh, components that we're going to etch out. Alright, so this is the laminator. You have to first power it on, then turn on the heaters. Switch. Right here, the temperature shows up in Celsius. We need to get these up to the 115 like it says. Once it's that, then we can begin laminating. Okay, so we're going to put this in the via depth, which is just soapy water. It's just soapy water. We set the timer for five minutes to ensure that the entire board is cleaned. Ideally, this will be at 125 degrees Fahrenheit. There, then afterward, we will soak it in some deionized water for about a minute, and then into the CU prep, which is acid, for about another minute, and then we'll soak it off in the deionized water for another minute. Then our board cleaning is almost done. This is isopropyl alcohol. We're gonna soak the board in it just to finally clean off a little more fingerprint and it dries a lot quick, quicker than water. So we can dry it off and the board won't oxidize. Just swish it around a little so the entire board gets covered with it. Flip it over to the same thing and we can even spray it down with our bottle of isopropyl alcohol. Now that it's been cleaned like that, we go over and dry it with nitrogen. Now that the board is completely dry and oxidation free, we go over to check the temperature of the lamination. As you see, it's exactly 150. To turn on the laminator, first, make sure that there's enough lamination left. If it, there's not enough left, when you turn on the rollers, it is likely to be sucked up and caught onto another roller. Trust me, you do not want that to happen. There are three things you need to get the machine be prepped rolling before you put the board in. First is the driving button. First you'll click that, then you'll pull this lever forward, and right before you put the board in, you flip on the air power. So let's get the driver going. Flip it down, and as you see, it starts to roll. You want it set around 0.5. the board is all the way past the end of this roller, we can cut it away with the razor blade. Then we come over to our table, and we want to cut off the excess photo resist. Then, you want to peel off the plastic layer from the photoresist. Remember to do that on both sides. Then we have this board that is fairly smoothly coated with photoresist. Then we go over to the vacuum sealing UV light station.
This is our mask. It is a read up mask. This means you want to place it facing up to the side that you can read. Be the side right here. So we'll place it very close to the vacuum port right here, which the rope needs to be almost touching. Mm -hmm. As you'll see, the tube goes all the way down from that hole into the vacuum. You'll want to take the board and match it up perfectly. So, what read tied up means is that when we place it down, we're able to read the writing down here. See, this is the University of Oklahoma and describes what this is. Now this is perfectly aligned with the mask. What we will want to do though, prevent the board from sticking to this. We have a, another board that I have just cleaned off in isopropyl alcohol and we'll place on top of this that will also help to create more suction because it's uh, it, it'll be higher up. So, I'll place it down on it. And you want to make sure the rope goes around the entire mask. So then we'll pull this down. And I'll want to hit this button right here that says vacuum. It'll suck everything down and you'll be able to see the outline not only of the rope, but of the mask and the board. After that, we will hit expose and it will be exposed to ultraviolet light for 30 seconds. As you can see, there's not proper suction right now. We'll move the rope closer to the vacuum to, to hopefully create some suction this time. As you see, there was fantastic suction. As you can see, the outline of the rope and the mask and the board right here. Now we will expose. As you can see, the ultraviolet light is being shown underneath, going through the clear part of the mask, hardening the photoresist. We just took the board off, and there you see it. All the dark part is what was shown the ultraviolet light in this hardened photoresist. That will stay copper after we soak it in the etching bath. We take it off from the board, and now we will do the whole entire back so that it stays copper because we want the vias to be grounded. We move this as close to the vacuum as possible. Put the rope around the entire thing. Take away the mask. Put it down. Vacuum seal. And as you see, we have a great seal again. You can see the outline of the board. You come from this angle. Right there. Now, we expose. Alright, now that the whole entire back is hardened, none of it will be de or be etched away. Now, to get rid of the non-exposed part of the photoresist, the part that we want to be etched away, we're going to soak it in sodium carbonate. Again, you will want to shuffle this around to ensure that there's more uh, volume of the sodium carbonate that's covering the board. After a while, you'll start to begin to see the photoresist dissolving. Then you can begin to wipe it away with your finger.
as you see, it's all gone and it's just copper now. Now, we want to come over and get a clean back of deionized water. Take the board and just soak it in the deionized water to wash off any excess sodium carbonate. This is the etching bath. It is heated up with this heater. Currently the outside of the heating bath is 82 degrees Fahrenheit measured with this thermometer. Now that usually means the inside is somewhere around 87 degrees Fahrenheit. We will want to go. So tell them that uh, it has to heat up like one hour or two before and, and, yes. and which buttons to press as well. Okay. So for the heater, you'll want to plug in this cord to turn, turn it on. The other cord is a thermometer and the other cord is the heater that goes inside of the tank. Also, you'll want to note that the reason that it gets heated is because it speeds up the etching process. So the hotter it is, the quicker it will go through. Next, we'll want to cut off some wire in order to hang the board in the back. After it was in the bath, I took it out to dry, uh, clean it off in some water. Now, we're going to take off all this photoresist to show the copper. We place it in the acetone post wash bath. Then we pour the acetone in there. Sure. You want to wash it around again like all the other ones to make sure that the whole entire board gets washed around because this is very uh, important. As you can see it comes right off. You have to rub it away some of it especially when it's on this side that uh, was completely covered. Yeah, it's all see you can see it's all still on there. It wipes away. So you just keep washing it off. It takes a while because it's a sticky material. Yes. Very sticky. And you harden it on with the UV light. So it doesn't just dissolve. So after it's all off. We'll put it in the IPA post wash bag. And again, we want to wash it around, make sure the whole board gets covered. Now, we'll dry it off. And then you'll be done. We're good. I'll show to the camera.